Alrighty, what is up YouTube dude? Back for episode 2 and it didn't take, I mean I haven't edited it yet, but it hasn't taken 4 to 6 months for this episode yet, so at least not the time of recording, so that's cool. Uh, it has been a little bit, I actually have gotten the video up on YouTube before recording this one. A lot of times I record episodes at like 2 or 3 at a time, just because I am so bad at uploading. I think it helps me if I if I can sit down for like one or two sessions, get the videos, and then edit them back to back. I think it helps me. I know it's not the greatest habit. Hopefully, now that I'm I'm getting more free time and whatnot, hopefully I can I can squash that and we can do more real time stuff because I, I love reading the comments and suggestions and all that good stuff. Not a whole lot last time, just a lot of sentimental. I know Dan commented, dude. I do I appreciate him watching, and he was right, dude. Sentimental. It just the memories. A lot of memories here. Well. I'm going to keep that intro. There's going to be no game volume. It doesn't matter. I added music, so it should cover that up anyway. But, uh, yeah, there's no game volume. I'm super happy I caught that right now. And not uh, <laughs> not halfway through the video, because that, that'd be kind of annoying. But, all right, so we should have game volume now. Uh, we're back in the world. I have not played it since last time. Uh, nor have I even played the game, to be honest. I have wanted to. Back to what I was saying, man, I really do appreciate everyone who watches my videos and leaves comments and likes and all that good stuff. It makes, you know, the comments, you know, even constructive criticism, even if it's like, oh, you should have done this or I didn't like this. I appreciate that and it makes me feel better because, you know, it knows, I know I can improve and it just tells me that people do care. So I really do appreciate that uh, to everyone that watches. All right, I gotta, I gotta stop getting distracted. I'm a little distracted here. Last time we left off, we're looking for a handsaw. So the bottom line is we have an ax, and that means we could chop down trees. But once we chop down those trees, we can't do anything with it. So we need a little handsaw to be able to make planks and sticks and stuff, and and then hopefully be able to start building some crates and, and other items so we can go in and finally start adventuring. Now there's a fire truck there, which is kind of cool. Uh, and I, I don't know if I'm going the right way here. I think I am. We'll go ahead and see. I think the only thing we can do is go in and out of town to farms to the, the workshop to uh, the construction site and just try to get a handsaw now there's a strong chance I'm gonna cut out a lot of footage here just because I'm probably gonna be walking back and forth I, I don't want this whole episode to be me just looking for a handsaw I really don't I'd prefer to have some building so we're gonna get a handsaw no matter what if I'm here for eight hours and I have to cut seven and a half out so be it. Hopefully that's not the case because I'm not ready for that, but I, I'll, I'll get some coffee brewing and we'll, we'll make ourselves ready for that. But nonetheless, man, I do love this game. I'm, I'm glad to be back. Uh, absolutely love this game. You know, this is, like I said last episode, huge part of me, I really, I do think. And I didn't think about this when I was recording it last time and kind of hit me when I was editing. This game is a huge, huge, huge motivation, a uh, huge factor in why my modded Minecraft pack has guns like that was one of my mods that I was like it has to have guns I don't know why minecrafting guns in an adventure world where you're exploring the earth and there's ruins everywhere I don't know why but I was like I need there to be guns and I, I think it's because of this game this game's so minecraft like and there's guns and it is kind of a, it is a zombie apocalypse type uh, type situation I don't know I, I think it is a huge factor in why I, I like that was the bottom line I was like earth map weather guns it has to be there those were the three and in the Pam's Harvest Craft. I just love that mod. It's a cute mod. Really awesome. I really think that mod, even though it really changes nothing, I think it changes the entire aspect of the game. Just so much food and whatnot. In the cooking mods as well. But alright, we're back to this farm. I think I'm going to have to stop rambling here. And uh, we're going to have to try to get a handsaw. Also, I'm going to say this now because it, it dawned on me when I was editing again. Uh, chainsaws oftentimes spawn at these farms. So... We might have to keep our eyes peeled for some chainsaws or something. Now, I definitely forgot the controls. Okay, G. G is good. Sweater vest. Or poncho. Now, a civilian vest is a 4x3. I think a sweater vest is going to be better. So we're going to go ahead and drop this gun for right now. We're going to pick this up. We're going to go ahead and try to, try to switch a ruski. Got here and it is now a five by three so we got a couple of extra slots there that's an improvement that's something we're gonna have to focus on this episode as well as just getting more storage 
Ideally, we get a travel pack or something, because that would be massive, but... Okay, hopefully my PC hasn't been being too loud. I know it's... it's been, yeah, it's a little loud. I'm hoping with the music, it's it's harder to hear. I, I still have to clean it out. I am a, in a process of doing a lot of stuff here, so... That's the first time I've gotten hit in this playthrough. Holy crap, I just had a bad first hit, and that, that affected me. Okay, let's not make it two. Ugh. Let's not make it two in a row, boys. There we go. And unfortunately, I think that, once again, is going to do us in. I don't think there's any any other places here. Oh, there's corn. Let's go ahead and eat that. <sighs> dang it, man. Dang it, dang it, dang it. We just, we need a handsaw. Like, I, I, I'm going to stay true to my word. We're going to cut back and forth, you know, now that we know there's nothing here. We're going to cut to the next place that I decide to go. But, man, that, that's going to be a whole lot of editing, and that's going to... I mean, it's going to make it really hard, but it's going to make it even sweeter when we do find it. If anyone out there knows other ways where I don't need a handsaw and I can craft stuff, please let me know. I haven't checked the wiki or anything, and I think I remember back in the day uh, that wasn't possible. But who knows if they added more stuff since then. I, I actually do not, so please, please, please let me know. I would appreciate it. It might be too late because I'm going to get it no matter what this episode. But like I said, we're going to try to play all the maps and maybe even some modern ones if uh, the series really takes off. So... Uh, you know, it'll be useful for next time, so that's always fun. We're gonna drive the tractor into town. You know, I might as well get it close to town, and, uh, I don't want to walk. Actually, change of plans, uh, the golf course is not, just, like, over this hill, not too far, and I believe I did find a handsaw in it when I was doing my, uh, my test playthrough. Or something. I was playing something long, like before I started the series. I think it was when I was testing the game. I spawned at the campsite, and I think I got a handsaw. And I'm gonna be honest. That's kind of how I jog my memory about. Oh, I need a handsaw. It's it's because yeah, I, I kind of spawned near one, and I was like, oh shit, I forgot about these. But nonetheless, if we can find it, it shouldn't be too much further. Super thankful it's morning again, man. I mean, I didn't realize how long the nights are. And that might be uh, that might be a problem here in the first couple episodes. I'm gonna have to get a light or something going, lamps or, or something, because I mean that that's just unbearably dark. Or if I can get those flashlights for guns. I remember guns have attachments. If I can get flashlights and stuff for those, so that I can see at night, that would be wonderful. Because otherwise, I think we're gonna be in some trouble here. Okay, let's take all these guys out. It's a lot easier this time around now that we have weapons. I, I did have a gun when I was here the first time. Max is not as loud, and I do think it's pretty useful. We got cheese now. That's always fun. Duck tape, I don't really care. Baseball bat and whatnot. I mean, see, tools are spawning. There's a hammer. There's a hammer and whatnot. Another hammer. Okay. You know, if I keep getting these hammers, I'm going to get annoyed, dude. Give me something else. Give me something else. We got a rake. I feel like we're going in the right direction, but not quite. Wham. A rake? That's unfortunate. Why do I feel like it spawned over here in this thing? But there's nothing here, so I think uh, I think this is another bus. Ah! Got his ass. Golf club. Golf club. I almost said golf cart. Yeah, golf cart exploded here last time. Oh man. That is a bummer. I mean, since I'm here, let's just eat some stuff that's taken up inventory space. Might as well. Might as well. Let's see what else can I do. Let, let's see what our hunger and everything's at. Uh, you know, we can do a little bit. Let's have some eggs. Eat some eggs. It's about $40 worth of eggs right there. Not too bad, you know, and that'll keep us alive. And open up a couple of slots here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the map. All right, I have a course of action. Because I don't want to go to all the same places. And I would like to explore a little bit. I would like to explore with inventory space, but that's obviously not going to be the case for a while. We're going to go south through town. We're going to... We'll check the workshop again one last time. But if not, we're going to do the loop. We're going to go up through the campground, the town of Everett, Shelton Farm. Go down here to probably Tacoma and Arlington Farm to the raceway. I don't know if anything's going to be on the Rainbridge Island, but then right back up here to Seattle, we'll, we'll check the workshop. And then... Um, probably have to do it all over again. I mean, we're just going to have to check every single building until we get a, a handsaw. That's just that's just the situation. Uh, I I don't I don't know what else I could do, unfortunately. 
Um, but since I'm here, I'm going to get a thumbnail. All right? I'm going to call myself out. Like When I was editing, I was like, fuck, I don't have a good thumbnail of the city. I want to get a good picture of Seattle because, you know, that's the map we're on. And I didn't really have one. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if we can get up on this hill or something. Get a nice picture of the city. Alrighty, I think I got it. I couldn't find a way to hide my my health and hunger and whatnot, but honestly, that's okay. It's not the biggest deal in the world. I don't think you guys will mind a whole lot. You know what? Since we're here and since we came in from this direction, let's check the construction site one more time. I don't have a lot of faith. I really don't, but I mean, might as well. That's the pharmacy, huh? You know what? Let's go ahead and get ourselves back up to 100% health, man. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. Ooh, that's, that's a huge pack right there. I know I don't have space for that, and there's two of them here. I like how hitting him with that actually pauses him. But alright, let's go ahead and heal. Wow, dude. Holy crap, there, there are a lot, a lot of health packs here. Alright, I'm going to do a couple of things I should have done last time. Alright, starting off, we do not need two of the same gun. That's just, that's dumb. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to strip it and then I can drop it. So what that's going to do is that's going to take all of the clips out and any attachments I have and then I can drop the gun. So that's already huge. So we can already pick this one up. Let's go ahead and pull this out in case. You know, we don't want to be caught lacking here. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to do this. I'm going to strip this and we're going to drop it as much as I don't want to. That gun's taking up a lot of space, and I only have one clip for it, I believe, so uh, I, I just, I don't see the reason to hold it, have it take up all this space, and, you know, know we could probably get another one in the future at some point, and, I mean, I'll keep the ammo for it, you know, having a little bit of extra ammo never hurt anybody, so, well, okay, wait, <laughs> I mean, I guess ammo has hurt somebody before, but in, in the case of the holder having a little bit of extra ammo, right, okay. Okay, yeah, well, let's, uh, let's be careful what we say here. YouTube's gonna kick our ass, but there should be a big guy in there. I forgot about him until I saw him last episode. I don't see him yet, which makes me nervous. He's usually in there because he is a, he's a soldier, just a, a little beefcake in there, a little beefy boy. Oh! Oh! Oh, let's go! No! I can't pick it up, dude. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna sacrifice anything and everything for this one item here. I, I do not care. Cough syrup. Let's just get rid of the cough syrup, okay? You know, I'm, I'm not even coughing anymore. I'm not even coughing. But we got it, boys. We got it. We got the handsaw. That is what we've been looking for forever, dude. The, holy shit. I, I feel like I got to raid the rest of this place. Like it's personal now. Whack. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. We're going to raid it anyway. Watch. There's going to be another handsaw somewhere, dude. Our objective's complete. We have a handsaw. Now we get to chop a bunch of wood. Hell yeah. Uh, we're going to start. We're going to take these guys out. They're a little bit too close for comfort. Nah, I'm not a big fan of that. I like being comfortable. Uh, what I am worried about is that another handsaw is going to drop randomly because now that we have one, the game's all like, oh, let's give him like 40. And that's going to hurt my feelings. And I know it shouldn't, but it will. Um, also, before we chop some trees, let's see, 132 experience. Let's go ahead and get our cardio up. 10, 15. Here's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to go, where would it be? Where's the, there's one for chopping trees, I think. Chop down trees faster. So 10, 15, 20, 25. There we go. So that one's almost a full upgrade. So let's do this so we can chop trees down a lot faster. Oh, I forgot about the big boy swings. Cool. Look at that. Now we got a bunch of wood. The tree falls down. I can't remember if the tree falling on you hurts you or not. I'm personally not going to test it. Let's figure out how we can craft. Oh, wow. That would be terrible. <laughs> oh, let's not do that one. All right. Let's figure out. Here it is. So we need we need planks. Oh, boy. We need planks and planks and planks and planks. And I, I want to say pine crate. Oh, here it is. Let's go ahead. Equip, and we'll put it right here. And now that we have that, let's let's put some of our stuff in it. So we got a cobra. There we go. Awesome! Look at that, man. We got a chest or a crate with some of our stuff in it. And let's chop down this tree. 
Nine experience. Holy crap, you get a ton for chopping wood. I mean, who doesn't like chopping wood, am I right? I just, I don't know if the tree's gonna fucking hurt me or not. So wait, craft. I need a couple more sticks. By a couple, it's just one. Craft. Let's go ahead and take that bad boy. Equip. Let's go ahead. This is the building I normally take up, you know, build a shop, set up shop in. Let's go ahead and go in there and put this crate up there. We'll move everything into this building. And I like to go onto the roof. I'll do a tour here in a second. We can check it out and I'll, I'll kind of explain why I like it. We're just going to put one like right here. And then we're going to put a bunch of food in it. Alrighty, so we put all of our food in there. Now we're not doing the greatest when it comes to food, but we're going to make sure we go out and adventure here momentarily to go and get some. Can I craft some more stuff though is going to be the question. Let's do one of those. Alrighty, I decided I'm just going to cut all that out, but we have three crates up here. I had enough for three. This is going to be our food crate. We put all of our food in here. So I'm going to have to go out and get some more because I literally put everything in there. This is going to be our medical crate, our medical area. I put everything I had in there so far. And then this will be our ammunition one. I'll still make another one for weapons. Actually, I'm going to go down there and get all of our crate stuff from that one. Move it up to here and that will be our, our weapon one. And then we're going to go adventuring because uh, our inventory is not full anymore. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll make a couple more crates and then we'll go adventuring. Uh, but I'll stop back by and fill you guys in here in just a moment. Alrighty, we are officially caught up. So I, I put uh, the one of the crates right here and I built another one, put it next to it. This is where we'll put all of our weapons. And I put one here because, I mean, these weapon crates fill up fast. Got our medical crate set up. Like I said, got our food crate over here set up. And now we have two over here for ammunition. I fully expect ammo and guns to take up a lot of space, but we're going to go ahead and dump all the extra wooden planks we have right now because trees grow back. And I want to go adventuring, so we don't want any unnecessary inventory space. And I mean, three planks is nothing. All right, we can waste a little bit of wood. But uh, let's, I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of why I like this building, and then uh, we will go adventure. But starting off the roof, I like the roof. I don't think it's too tall to begin with, uh, the building itself. I think it's just reasonable enough to take up shop and fortify it what is it three or four floors counting the roof that's really nice you know you can have the roof for storage and, and plants and water barrels and all that good stuff and then the floors beneath it you can have it for like bedroom and cooking and, and that type of stuff as well if you really want to get crazy into it I've, I've actually had each floor be its own storage like the floor beneath will be clothes and food and then beneath and medical and then the one beneath that will be guns or vice versa and stuff so you could really get into it if you really wanted to and I like it and I, I think it's just ease of access, uh, why I like this building. I'll go ahead and go down a floor. But you, you can see you could pimp this room out, add some, make it an actual house and a bedroom and whatnot. It's, it's actually really cool. And it's just ease of access. It's one stairway. It's not broken and anything. And once you fortify the bottom layers, let me get down to the bottom layers. Once you get, you fortify this, put on a metal door, you barricade the windows, and then, uh, you know, barbed wire and, and other stuff outside. You know, it's, it's a pretty nice place. I like it, and I know Dan and everyone that I played with uh, before, they'll, they'll recognize the place because, I mean, especially Dan. We always set up shop here, and then we'd actually make, like, a driveway out here uh, with barricade and fencing and stuff, and it was always a lot of fun. But all right, man, let's go ahead and do a little bit of adventure. Let's see if we can find some stuff. Now, the first thing I'm, I'm really hoping we find is a jerry can, I believe is what it's called. Just a, a little fuel can for us because... Boy, would that be huge right now. I don't see one, so I'm going to have to assume the answer is no. But, you know, if we can get one of those, we're going to be set up for a, lot, a while, really. But, all right. I dumped all my food. So let's make sure we're getting more food. You can never run out of food. That's the rule. Chocolate bar. Blowtorch. I forgot about those. So that that's actually really important, too. I forgot about those. I genuinely forgot those existed. That is huge for vehicles. Now I can repair vehicles if I decide to get any. I also forgot about this building. There could be a jerry can in here. I don't see one. So I'm going to have to go with no. But that's okay. We're going to move right along, man. Let's check out the donut shop for Thug Donuts. All right, check them out, check them out. Just got bread in here. I don't see any donuts. There's dough. Doughy boy, as Brady would call him. More dough, okay. Well, I guess not a whole lot in the donut shop. That's okay, though. We're going to move right along. I don't think there's going to be anything in the bank. Is there going to be anything? There's a golf club. 
golf club, Yuri mag, okay, and a, another mag, two mags. I'm not going to say no to any sort of ammunition. I, I just, I don't think I have it in me to be stingy, but, you know, since we're here, let's start killing zombies, get more experience, try to upgrade ourselves. Wow, okay, so the pizza shop has quite a bit of food. Bottled water, that's going to be nice. Let's go to the gun shop. This is the one I always love to raid. The gun shop's a lot of fun. Never know. It's like a kid in a candy store. Oh, he almost hit me. He almost hit me. I gotta be more careful. I'm getting too aggressive. I, I always forget that those give you experience. It just dawned on me. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. I mean, nothing new for sure. But, you know what? That's okay. That is okay. I already believe I have an Eagle Fire. We'll keep it for now, but I think I have one. And unless I want like a, a second one as a backup, I don't I don't think I need to keep it. We'll see though. Alright, let's check out the fire station. What do we have going on in here, huh? What's going on in here? Bunch of bunch of firemen. Cool. I feel like I should have a backup axe. I'm just trying to play a little overly safe in case I, I die. And I lose everything. Uh, how can I have extra sets of tools and weapons? That guy seemed a lot bigger than he was. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. But yeah, how can I have extra sets of stuff so that if I die, I actually don't get set back? Like right now, if I die and I lose that handsaw, I'm pretty much boned. I mean, it's it, there's no coming back. It's going to be a long comeback. So not a, not a whole lot here either. Not a ton. All right, let's go ahead and check out the clothes shop. We'll loop around check out the workshop as well. Is that a travel pack? That is. That is huge. That is like the biggest backpack there is here. So wait, we'll even do math. Let's do a little bit of math. A day pack is going to be 7 by 4. Let's see what a travel pack is. 7 by 4 is what we're up against here. And a travel pack, oh, so 7 by 4 is 28. And a travel pack is going to be, I mean, already 5 by 7. So yep, 35. So definitely got more there. That is awesome. A purple hoodie as well. What would that replace? Purple hoodie, would that replace my grocery top? Uh, it's a 3x5. Equip, equip. Oh, it's also a 3x5. But now it matches colors, so I almost like that more. Alrighty, I am back. Took a quick bathroom break. Uh, the sweatshirt is the same storage-wise as uh, our last top, so we're going to keep it because it also matches us now. We got purple on purple. Which I think is cool and actually purple and purple on purple our backpacks also purple can I turn uh oh I don't think I can and I, I clicked the wrong button but we also drop stuff when we switch backpacks so I made sure to pick all that back up but uh we're looking pretty good we got a nice uh, nice top a, a nice backpack now for sure and I, I think we're moving uh, right along doing a great job here so we're gonna keep exploring it looks like it's gonna be nighttime here again soon and, uh, you know what, I think as night falls, that's a good sign to say that maybe we should be done for this episode. Uh, a whole lot, man. Holy cow, we got the handsaw like we wanted, a little bit of adventure. And I'm thinking episode three is going to be strictly adventuring. I think we're going to leave town even and go adventuring. So, uh, episode three should be a lot more. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, I, it says about 50 minutes record time. I don't know what that correlates to, uh, you know, after editing. So, we'll see. But nonetheless, my plan is we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. We'll finish our loop around the city, exploring and raiding, go back home, empty it all out, and then next episode, we're going to leave town. We're going to do some exploring out of town. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to find some stuff, and eventually, we're going to have to start barricading ourselves up. We're very exposed in that building still, so we're going to have to go and figure that out. Let's go ahead and raid the grocery store real quick, get some more food. Might as well kick this guy's ass. Yeah. We are full. Now this police station has a little bit more ammo. Handcuff keys. Handcuff keys. Do will I need handcuff key? I mean I don't see I don't see me handcuffing myself or anything, so I don't I don't think I'm gonna need it, but a whole lot of ammo here. So I think the only thing left is the pharmacy if it's respawned since my last trip here. It might, it might have. Oh yeah, it definitely has and there's a oh my gun! My gun! No, I don't have space for it, dude. All right, I'm gonna sacrifice the axe for the gun because I don't think I need it. And I only want that gun because that's actually one I don't have yet. I almost dropped the uh, Eagle Fire, but I, honestly, that's one of the guns I prefer to use. So 
I think I'm going to keep it as a backup just in case. And we are completely full. It appears we are full. And instead of trying to push the envelope any further than I already have, let's go home. It's also nighttime, so I think it's just best we return home. We'll go ahead and offload. And uh, we'll probably call it. Actually, there's one more thing I want to do. Let me go ahead and offload, and I'll be back for it. Oh, actually, this is it. This is what I wanted to do. Hold up. That is exactly what I wanted to do. That is surprising, actually. That is hilarious. I was going to come here and raid it to see if I could find any lights or generators. So now, now we really do need a jerry can. Next episode, we're going to have to go get a jerry can. That's going to be massive. But all right, let's go ahead and unload. What does that moon mean on the side? Does that mean it's a normal night? Or does, has it been doing that this whole time where it says if there's a moon, it's nighttime? I, I actually have not noticed that before. I, I have not been paying attention, but that's kind of cool if it is. Um, we're going to go ahead and put this right here, kind of just out of the way, hopefully. Uh, we don't have enough fuel to make it run, so it doesn't matter right now, but hey, we got a generator. If there's one thing I'm okay with having too much of, it's going to be food. And that is exactly the case for us right now. We have too much food. Wait, their eyes are red. Have their eyes always been red at night? I don't remember this at all. I guess I guess we're going to fight. Our plan is, I was going to check this building out, see if there's any generators or, or anything useful we could snag. I'm a little nervous because I don't remember their eyes being red last night, so... I don't know if something funky's going on or, or what, but I don't see the big guy. I see a zombie. I don't see the big guy, though. Is that a sign that we should push in there? One last little raid before the end of the episode here. Should we do it? I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. All right, let's be really careful, though. Let's make sure the big guy's not hiding somewhere. Ooh, 15 experience? Is this just because it's nighttime or is it like something funky going on here? Because I'm nervous. Alright, we got a frag. I am so nervous right now, dude. Alright, we're just going to climb up. Oh, shit, we're climbing up the wrong side. That would have been catastrophic if there was a guy chasing me and I needed to go somewhere fast. Saber tooth. Desert cap. Eh, not a whole lot up here. Wow, that was a lot of damage, dude. Try to be careful here. I don't see any big guys. I don't think I don't think that's a big guy. I think we'll push in. Okay. Not too bad. GPS, those can never hurt, I don't think. And then I think we're out of stuff in this building. Alright, moving along. Moving right along. Looks like we got a guy over there and over there. Let's see what we got here. A muzzle. I don't know how much good that'll do us. But all right, we'll check out the medical tent and we'll call it here. Let me uh, get my bearings before I get smacked. Raw explosives. I, I don't see him. I think we're clear. I guess the big guy isn't here right now. Here's the situation, guys. Oh, I got to get my stamina back, and then I'll tell you the situation. Uh, we're going to go ahead, and uh, I'm going to raid the gas station, see if I can get a jerry can, and then that's going to be it for this episode. In between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and knock a few more trees down, and I'll start next episode with wood, and I'll, I'll kind of talk about uh, the, the plan and everything. Probably get a few more crates. And uh, if I can get a jerry can now... Then that'll, that'll prevent it or stop. You know, we won't have to do it next episode. But next episode, we're going to have to kind of do a do or die thing with the jerry can. Uh, because I would like to take a vehicle exploring. There's a couple of techniques I remember uh, when it comes to exploring with a vehicle. And almost like I'm cheating, there's not one, but there's two. Two jerry cans? Are you kidding me? I guess I just can't end the episode. It doesn't want me to now. Now I gotta fill these bad boys up. I gotta fill them up. I gotta fill them up and I gotta go upstairs and I gotta fill up our little uh, generator because I'm, I'm almost certain that uh, those gas reserves only refresh when you relog the world. 
And so if we do it once per episode, we'll never run out of fuel. I don't know if that's true or not, actually. I don't know if they reload at all, but we're gonna go ahead and put it in here. Oh, first we need to stop it. We, we have no reason to run generators right now, so yeah, let's make sure that's turned off. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, fill up our jerry cans as much as we can. And as I'm here trying to uh, fill up my jerry cans, it started pouring outside. Look at this. This is really cool. And that actually reminds me, I think I mentioned it earlier, but you can build rain barrels and then you can actually collect water from rain barrels and rain and then you can use that as drinking water, which is really cool. But obviously we're nowhere near that state, so we're just going to leave that alone. But yeah, it looks like uh, we're doing pretty good. I mean, we got uh, an entirely full generator, two more full jerry cans for vehicles if I decide to do an adventure for next time. We got some crates. We got this place kind of looking good. I think this is an excellent place to end this episode. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this recording and start the next one up. That way I can get the next two ready for you guys. But if there's any suggestions, any play styles or anything like that, or just ideas, and episode four is going to be when it's going to probably happen anyway. I need to do a little bit more adventuring and kind of get this place together. And, uh... Yeah, I think episode 4 is when we're going to start fortifying this place. I think next episode we're going to leave town finally, go to some places we haven't been, and then uh, episode three or 4 sorry, is when we start building. And then 5, who knows, we'll just have to play it by year. But uh, a pretty successful episode. I'm really happy we found the handsaw pretty early on. I mean, I was going to start traveling the whole map to try to get one of those. And something just told me to come back to here, and luckily I did because we found it. We got a shop set up. We got a generator, lucky find. And uh, we're doing pretty good. So uh, with that said, man, thank you to everyone who came back and watched this episode. I am excited. I still love this game, and I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. But with that said, man, I will catch you guys in episode three.